Boom! You see me, man, man's in a... Man's gonna chef today, I'm doing a different type of video. Yeah? Because I've seen a lot of people, like a lot of my mates, they don't know, really know how to cook. So I'm... I'm let me even take all this shit to me. See you lot to, take me serious, innit? Boom! I'm gonna show you how to cook a pizza today. Because I know a lot of my friends don't really know how to cook, so today... I've got a few ingredients, I'm gonna show you how you cook a perfect Italian pizza. So first... We got the cheese. I've got two cheese on it. Where's your one? Hold on. Alright, so boom, I've got two cheese. Pick one. Which one should I which one should I pick? The yellow one. Yellow one. You can sack tomorrow. Perfect for cooking. If you like to eat. Boom. Put that there. Then we've got the flour. Do you know what we need the flour? For the bread. Correct. And then boom, what else have I got? I've got the tomato puree. Obviously we're gonna spread that on the on the flour, and I've got some dry yeast. Yeah, that's how. That's what actually one here. Oh, I can't even talk. Olive oil, boom. So the other the ingredients. That's what you need, alright? Get me. Alright, let's let's get to cooking. So what's the first thing you do before cooking? Get your equipment. So you don't wash your hands, do you? Oh yeah, of course. Oh easy. my days. So boom, we've got the soap here. Yeah? Let me teach you how to wash your hands. You gotta go. You, you show them how you wash your hands. Boom, you go all the way here. Bow. Warm water or cold water? Warm water. Mmm. It's kinda cold, but I can't be able to go to the warm water now. Boom. So we're done now. Where's the freezer? Get me. And then, now we get to cooking. So, um, where's the plates? Eh? No plates, nothing, no bowl. It's there. It's there, man. It's there, man. What? Hey, man. What are you talking about? It's there. The bowl? Yes. Oh, no, that's not a bowl. I'm opening the bowl. Oh, no, yeah, that one, I meant. That one, I meant. Where's the bowl? At the oh. top. Oh, yeah. Top for nothing. Wow. Say nothing, say nothing. Um. That's if they're nice. Ginger. You know the price of salt nowadays? Oh my days. No salt. Yeah. All right. After that, after washing your hands, the second thing you want to do is get some more water. So come follow me. Follow me. So now we know that's, that's hey, we know that this is the cold water. Get the warm water. Make sure it's hot. Wait a bit. Wait a bit. hot. Oh yeah. Get a bit warm. Hey, you get a bit way too hot. Anyways, got the warm water. Boom. So you put the warm water. Is it after or before they put the yeast in that? Hmm? <laughs> uh, boom, you put the warm water in, yeah? You put um ooh. I'm not looking professional today, damn. Anyways, you put a bit of warm water, we'll say that um what is it called? A fork? 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 Well, I'll put it down in the, in the comments. You know how much water you put. And then we put a bit of... It's got a bit of salt. Bow. I'll we'll put two tablespoons. Bow. Getting, then we get the salt. I mean sugar. <laughs> Bow. You get me. Then you want to put the dry yeast. Use this as a as a um, reference. Yeah? You get me. We put about boom. That looks alright, like. It's alright. And then what you wanna do, I'm gonna get a spoon. Boom. You wanna start stirring it. Yeah? It should be looking this colour. If it doesn't look this colour, if it looks red, yellow, you're doing it wrong. It's supposed to look like this. You mean smells alright, innit? It smells toxic. <laughs> you wanna keep your job? Get me, you gotta keep stirring it. Mmm, it's looking alright now. And then. Your yeast is gonna start to produce a little bit of bubble to the flour and not to the yeast water mixture. Then you wanna get seven cups of flour. Yeah? Ooh! Let me 
and get a bit of spoon because I don't want to make too much of a mess. You get me? Professional, professional chefs don't make a mess. Yeah? Bow. Get me. Today, you get me boom. You see that, yeah? Make sure it's in 4K, yeah? Damn, I'm making a mess everywhere. All my days, but that's how, that's what happens when you're a professional chef. Sometimes you gotta make a mess, sometimes you don't. You get to decide in it. But today, I'm deciding to do to make a mess. You get me, you get me. Professional, professional chefs don't make a mess. Boom, you gotta keep stirring it, you gotta keep doing it because. If you don't keep doing it, it's just gonna be intoxicated, if you know what that means. You add this, yeast, salt, whatever combination. Bow. That sounds alright, doesn't it? That's what we want. Boom. Nice, it's looking good, man, looking good. Now when my mom said, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a professional chef, I need to believe her, man. Now, look at me. Look at me, man. Boom, it's looking all creamy now. This is the colour it's supposed to look. Is it looking alright? Hmm? No words. No words. See, I got people flabbergasted. <laughs> That's how you know I'm a professional chef, and then boom. I think you're supposed to wait, you're supposed to wait like 10 minutes now, like? 10 minutes. <laughs> Yo, I'm cooking this pizza. This girl really wanted the beef up. I don't talk about the pizza. Go, put the olive oil. Yo. But it's only for oil. Every time they've been talking to this and then that, yeah, they're loud, 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 loud. I'm not pleased, I'm not pleased. Anyways, that's 10 minutes gone. Yeah? Then boom. So spring, it's supposed to be watery. Oh my days. Because that looks like yogurt, fam. Yes. Get me, get the dough. Yes. Get me. Pour more flour actually. Put a lot more flour. Yeah, could you put it because I'm better? If you can. Yeah, for three more tablespoons, I'll say. Perfect. Boom. I feel like it's ready to come out the table now. Do you feel like it's ready? I'm doing it properly. Do it properly? Do you do it properly like I'm not doing it properly? We'll come back after this break. Have you ever felt like crying? Have you ever missed a sweaty goal? Are you getting picked on in school? If this relates to you, then make sure you like, comment and subscribe, like, you know what I mean? Yeah? If you like, comment and subscribe, then all, all of this will go away. And you'll... You will become a better person. Trust Boom. me. Trust me. I had to take a, I had to take a break because Gordon Ramsay just called me in it. Get me? This guy loves to call me when I'm cooking. Anyways, 
You want to put a bit of olive oil so that it doesn't stick to the... You get me? We'll do it like this. Yes. Yes, boys. We're in. Boom. You want to spread it a bit? Move this out there. Move the flour. Tell me what to do now. Anyways, boom. You want to do it like this? The only reason why we do it is so it doesn't stick to the... You get me? Then boom. You want to pour this in there. Get me. Yeah. Some people do it for about five minutes, but I think it's better to do it for about ten minutes. Just go around, keep going like this. Make sure it's all like you get me. It looks alright, don't it? I know you're surprised. That looks like play doh. Play doh. Look at you. Still, still got that kid mentality. Oh my days, you'll never be me. Get me. You wanna keep doing this? Bow. Yes. Make sure it, damn, they think he's moving. Make sure you take, make sure you, it's what's it called. You gotta do it for 10 minutes, it's long, you know. How's it, what, what, you got any plans for the weekend? Uh, probably just Anyways, <laughs> what you wanna do is just keep doing it. Boom, you see, it's nice, like this shit, like a ball, you get me. Banku, yeah, you mean, can you hear know this? Yeah? Look at that Banku right now. Anyways. Get me. I'm gonna keep doing that. This is actually long. Oh my god. <laughs> the dough. You're really just trying to like rotate and make sure that you're getting like all parts of the dough incorporated. At the end of it, we want like a really nice, pretty top. You'll know when you're yes. kneading the dough when you press the dough and it springs back right away. So now what we want to do is get like the really gorgeous top. Oh, he needs some milk. Pull back. the sides of the dough from the outside in. That it makes a nice uh -huh. Hope that's not recording yet. Is it off? <laughs> your olive oil. Get me. And then do the same thing again. Yes. Yes, boys. I feel it. I can feel the pizza. Get me. Boom. Okay, what do you feel the Italian coming in me? No room. Get me. Bow, you do this. Yeah? Look at how look, show the way it's looking. Yeah? Is that looking like a pizza? It's looking like play though. This guy's still with the same joke. Anyways, boom. What you wanna do now? Let's put a bit of tomato puree. Do you open this? That's way too slippery for this. Oh my days. Make sure it's all flat first. Yes, boys. Yes, boys. Let me get uh, wash my hands for a bit. Change technique. I'm not. I'm not trying to confuse the viewers. Get me. Bow. One, two, three. And then, boom. Try to open this though. Like, why is it so tough to open? That's better. So what I normally do, put it in the spoon. Bow. Put it here. Get a scoop. I would say one scoop should be right. And then boom, you spread it around. You spread it. Yeah? Spread it. Boom. Bellissimo! <laughs> Get me! Spread it around! Spread it, spread it! Yes, boys, yes! Boom! Spread it around, spread it around, spread it around! Yes! Yes! And then, get a bit of cheese. Ooh! Because obviously the cheese brings the flavour, doesn't it? Because you eat your pizza without uh, any cheese, without cheese, do you? No, always cheese. You told me you was allergic yesterday. Anyways. Le allergic to your food, yeah, that's that's what I meant. Say so that, like, make sure you, pe you pack yourself more, yeah? Anyways, boom, got the cheese now. Yeah? Got the cheese, and then, where did I put the pepperoni? I was just gonna do a cheese pizza today, no pepperoni thing, boom. You put it there, the cheese is all there now, and then,
Get me one. It's getting. It's ready to be put in the oven now. See the technique. That's even I've done it before. Boom. And then put the pizza. Bow. Put it in the oven. Bow. And then see how you click it. Now we've got 10 minutes to wait. What should I do for 10 minutes? Play some FIFA, call your mum, anything, man. Let's check on the pizza. Come, come here, come here. It's been 10 minutes now. Yeah? Voila. Jeez. You get me? Look at the, look at the seeds. If you're a professional like me, this is what it's supposed to look like. Yeah? It's not about the, um, what it looks like before. It's about, the, it's about the outcome. See the crustiness. You see the seasonings. Yeah? You can't make it up. Anyways, now it's taste time. So, I've got this pizza, pepperoni. Hope you like it. I've got one of the professional chef from Italy to try this pizza. So hopefully he likes it. So before we get into the taste test, <clears throat> tell me what's inside. We've got pepperoni, we've got um, sausage, onions, and tomato sauce, and thin crust bread. So where did you get the inspiration to make such a pizza? Um, I watch, no, my dad, he, he's like a professional chef, if you know what they know. He's um, been making pizza for like five years. He's not even Italian as well, but he just loves making pizza and then he like got it from there. Like he forced me to make pizzas and now look at me. He's happy. <laughs> Go on, mate. You're gonna try it, you're gonna keep asking questions. And what, what dip is this? What is what? What dip is this? Uh, garlic. Garlic, okay. <sighs> you're not allergic to garlic, are you? No, I'm not allergic. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good actually. Yeah. Is it's very it? good. Where, what ingredients did you use? I use a bit of olive oil, I used flour obviously, tomato sauce, cheese, and a bit of onions on the side, tomato puree, yep. Yeah. All of that. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yes! Fantastic. What do you rate our tendon? Egg solid. A solid uh, seven. Why seven? What's missing? The fact that you bought it from the store. <laughs> oh, don't know what you're talking there, but I made a pizza. You seen it? You was there? You took me and say, "Oh, so what do you mean I bought it?" Hmm. So Get, what's, this? Hmm? what's this? <laughs> oh, that's my new upcoming brand, Dominus. It's Domino. <laughs> 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 I don't mean no, you get me my upcoming brand, but let me try it, let me try because I haven't tried it myself and I'm supposed to try it. You get me? Mmm! Oh my days! No, I never tried a pizza like this. This is a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. You, you still think it's a 7? It's still a 7. Without the sauce, what does it taste? What is it? It's a 7. Seven. Fair enough, but make sure you like, comment, and subscribe here yeah, because I'm not. Actually, I'll probably do another video like this, yeah? That like cooking something different. You see this pizza? You see the outcome? You lot didn't believe the kid first, but now look at me. I'm a professional chef. Yeah? Got a thumbs up from him. I'm gonna call Gordon Ramsay, just let him know that um, I made this guy. He knows him as well because he's from Italy, he's a professional oh, yeah. chef. We're going way back, way back. Yeah. Way back, exactly. So I'm gonna let him know that he liked it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, let's get it. Anyway, so uh, what's, what are you doing here? You actually recorded me. Oh my, turn that off, you know.